Tonight's talking point. Tight has decided to present a radio family who will discuss really important nationwide problems, problems which concern all of us. Our family, the Gluns, are very ordinary people. They might be you, or you, or you. All five of them are shifty, obstinate, argumentative, and dim. So, over to the Glum family, who are discussing this week's talking point, Is Marriage Today an Economic Anachronism? Well, Ethel, it's uh, not every day that a father has a chance to greet his son's intended. Uh, that's Mother there bending down to poke the fire. <laughs> Straighten up, Mother, there he is. <laughs> Hello, Don, dear. So this is Ethel. Oh, Ron. She's lovely. She's what? Huh? Oh, just a minute. i better get me up the glasses. Well, sit down, Ethel, sweetheart. That's Grandma over there having a snooze. Oh, yes. She came to live here during the war. The Zeppelins frightened her, you know. <laughs> are you, uh, are you all right, are you, Ethel? Oh, yes. I was very scared of meeting Ron's folks, because, well, you know, but now I'm, well, I, I feel quite at ease. Sweetheart, you're sitting on the dog. <laughs> Up, see? It was the dog, dear. Oh, oh now, uh, well, now, you two lovebirds, uh, what can I say? You're embarking on the great adventure in very unsettled times, you know? They're cleaning up the West End. <laughs> I'll tell you, the future looks black. Dad, what you don't seem to realise is we are the future, me and Ed. Oh, blimey. The torch, <laughs> Dad, I'm serious, I am. The torch has been handed on. We're trying to build a world that's strong and splendid and fearless and... Uh, what are you scratching for, beloved? I think it was that dog. <laughs> I'll sit on the sofa, if you don't mind. Oh. Well, Ron, them's fine words, Ron, but uh, have you studied the economics of marriage? I mean, when I married your mother, you know what was in my weekly wage packet? Huh? Fourteen bob. Yes, but you fiddle five quid a week on the side. That's and... neither in nor there. <laughs> It's the principle I'm talking about. And I've always been a man of principle. Yes, but, Dad, F and I have got modern ideas on marriage. If we find we're incompatible, hey ho, we'll say it was just one of those things. One of which things? Oh, oh Ron. I'm not easily shocked, but... Oh, Ron. <laughs> Is this the golden-haired boy in the sailor suit what used to climb onto his dad's knee and recite Goblin Market? <laughs> I've grown up there. That was last Christmas. <laughs> I met Eth now. And I've become a man. When? When was that? <laughs> Where's Miss Strap? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Glum. Ron's right. You don't keep up with modern thought. So, uh, I'm out of date, am I, eh? Oh, Ron, you, you can call me a stupid old stick in the mud if you like. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Wrong. Dad? I hadn't finished, had I? <laughs> no, Dad. Well, let's have no cleverness then. <laughs> to me, a husband's duty is to stick by his wife, to cherish her, to protect her, to take the load from off of her. Here, yeah, the fire's nearly out. <laughs> Mother, where's the coal then? <laughs> we'll go out to the shed and get some. <laughs> well, you got a Mac, ain't ya? <laughs> oh, how I stuck at all these years, I want me head looked at. Now, where was I? Sorry, Dad. Ethel's had to go. She's on night. Of course, again, I may be presuming, perhaps, Ron, but uh, Ethel looked a bit drawn to me. Drawn, drawn in the face. Hmm? You're going to let her continue that work as handler in the locomotive works? Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'm a bit old-fashioned that way myself. Things will be different after we're married. I say there can be no real home life when a husband and wife are both out working. Well, I'm glad we see eye to eye there. Uh, you spoken to her about it? Oh, I've done more. I added in me notice this morning. <laughs>